我发现到今天是母亲节。哇，老哎，现在才知道。太迟了啦你。我送回家一人一罐。老板送回家一罐。所以很多人讲，为什么你还安排在今天呢？因为对我来讲，我每天都是母亲节。谁打？一直教教我很多东西，真的教我非常多，教我怎样珍惜我身边的人。以前妈妈哇，这边唧唧歪歪，我就比较不要吵那种，关门大大声那种。就是从小到大，都是令他担心的。那么该读书的时候。他不读，当他放弃我的时候，我又读，又读到他怕，读到他担心，因为我读到不吃不喝，连续三天三夜那一种，他又很担心，然后读到很好，他很开心的时候，我又不读做直销，然后又欠债，又做不起，又遇到很多很多的问题。一直都是担心大半辈子，那么太太也是这样，一嫁给我，我就做直销，所以就没日没夜啊。哎，不过我的家庭一直都是，我可以用完美来形容。铁板，我的孩子都很乖。我要问你，很多时候人家问我，为什么你这样幸运呢？对，幸运是其中一个很重要的部分。当然，后天有没有帮到？我妈真的懂得珍惜我们身边的人。不如我们趁这样的一个机会，今天我们只挑战自己一下自己本身。好，回到家里。那么，如果你太太在这里更好，今晚回去酒店，好，那么趁找一个机会，啊，去到你老婆面前，然后握住她的手，好，那么你的眼睛一直要看住她的眼睛哦，眼睛要看住她的眼睛，她不要在你，对不对啊？所以如果回去比较暗的话，你要记得。OK OK OK。握住他的手，他跟他讲，好不好？我真的好爱你。好，我知道过去，哎，我还没讲完。我知道过去那么多年哈，没有时间陪你，有时还跟你发脾气，啊，有时让你很伤心。我真的你要相信，我真的非常非常爱你。我没有你，我真的不能够。然后拉他过来，然后跟他做做做做做下去。我要问你，你老婆会开心吗？他有可能说：“那开心啊，你，有可能啊。”不过他开心吗？那么我问你，当他开心的时候，他会,会变成一个更好的老婆？那么当他开心的时候，他会不会更成为一个更好的妈妈？当他开心的时候，会不会成为一个更好的媳妇？那么既然会，为什么你不要做呢？既然会，为什么你不要做？对不对？你看“我爱你”这三个字，它是有魔力的，是不是啊？<笑>很多人讲说：“哎呀，没有啦，我都不喜欢讲这种东西的啦。”我们不用讲的啦，不用讲的啦。谁说不用讲的？你没有讲，他会知道吗？他知道的啦，他知道的啦，你又知道，他知道。<笑>不知道，不知道。对，很容易讲嘛，对不对啊？我爱你。又不是人家印度话这样，应该不用不用。我爱你很容易讲的，哦，既然容易讲，我们要多讲，是吧？他们跟父母亲也是这样，跟父母亲也是这样子。我、哦、回到家里，哦，有时候我们说，哎呀，今天我们 miss， 尤其我们 miss 掉这个母母亲节，哦，尤其我们错过了这个母亲节。不过有时我们妈妈真的需要母亲节你送礼物，她就会开心吗？不是的，有可能你的父母亲没有跟你一起住的的话，有可能他们没有跟你一起住
，哎，偶尔抽空回家看，不要跟我讲你没有空啦，连业绩没有降大啦，抽空回去。我买一包叉烧饭给他吃，他就很开心了，对不对啊？你需要金山银山来孝顺父母亲吗？不需要的，花多一点时间，有时候买一个茶回条，哦，买一包鸡饭给他吃，他会非常非常高兴了，是不是啊？那我们做父母亲的，我们应该懂啊。哦，所以有机会，今天将趁这样的机会，我们来挑战自己本身吧。你经得起这样的挑战吗？你经得起这样的挑战吗？用小小的挑战，在影响一个人，你都做不了，你怎么做大？你怎么做很大的组织？他们也是人类嘛，对不对呀、啊？然后家里，很多时候很多家庭都是这样，很晚时间坐在家里看电视的时候，爸爸坐这一边，妈妈坐那一边，那么你坐那一边，我坐靠近一点嘛，对不对呀、啊？跟妈妈讲话的时候，偶尔可以摸摸她的手，你会发现到，他们老了，你一摸哇，不要每天摸那些十多岁、二十多岁的女孩子的手，对吧？回去摸一下，你会发现到，哇，原来光阴似箭，我们的母亲都老，我们的父亲都老，跟爸爸讲话的时候。握住他的肩膀，你会发现到哇，很憔悴了，是吧？哦，有这样的机会，跟父母亲讲我爱你，可不可以？哦，我告诉你，我真的做过这样的事情。我曾经参加过一个直销的这样的课程过后，哇，我真的受不了了，因为我从来没做过，我不敢呐、啊，因为距离太靠近了，是不是啊？我回去，我真的是看我眼睛是红红的。那时候我下定决心的时候，我开门进去的时候，看到我妈妈，我直接过去，我直接抱我妈妈，我跟我妈妈讲我爱你。再过这么多年，我伤人啊，我让你担心。好，然后确保他不要去担心。哦，我已经懂事了，我知道怎么做人。不好告诉你，我妈妈直接眼泪流下来，开心到眼泪流下来。刚好我爸爸从，我来抱我妈妈的时候，刚刚好我爸爸从房间走出来，我眼睛一转过去看到他，我直接走过去，他说：“哎，三亚了，哎，三亚了，妈，妈呀！”我紧张，我没有管，我直接抱住他，跟他讲我爱他。哎，过后哇，我跟我父母亲的关系呀，和沟通方面真的是进步很多。当然，这种东西久没有做，要再做很难。我了解的，不过偶尔我们还是要哎提醒，互相提醒一下，再做多一次，是不是啊？有可能你要再做，已经没机会了以后。真的，有可能你很多人现在想要做都没机会了。所以我们要趁，当他还在的时候，我们要赶快做，对不对啊？啊、哦，所以不要管他什么母亲节还是父亲节还是什么节。平常如果我没有做这些东西的话，我想问你，你的父母亲会阻止你来做吗？会阻止你来做立约吗？绝对不会的。有很多人说我的爸爸妈妈不支持我什么，那你要问回你自己本身，到底你是一个怎样的孩子？啊、哦，所以很多时候，我们我们要先看自己先。那么好了，来到现在这个时候呢，其实我也有也有谈到一点，等一下就要的主题了，因为接接下来的主题就有牵涉到这个，成为真正的赢家，不是有钱你就成功了，不是有钱你就可以成为赢家，那么如何成为真正的赢家呢？那么接下来的主题就有答案了，那么这个主题呢，如何成为真正的赢家？的手势强的入围者有谁？看 r e w a y 系统课程主题：成为真正的赢家。入围的有 Team Supreme Times Seven、Faith and。
When you finish eating one side, okay, you don't flip it, you just take away the bone. And that's how Chinese become successful. Pwede bang palakpakan natin si Tan Sutya? And so now, I want to teach you something Filipino. You see, every time I would come across people, and every time they learn that I actually am a Filipino, they would say, ah, mabuhay. And when they say mabuhay, it would actually hurt my ears. You know why? Because you see, Philippines, ah, we have been colonized by the Spaniards or Spain for about 300 years. And after which, the Spain, okay, sold us to the Americans and Americans colonized us for about 50 years. And after the Americans, we were conquered by the Japanese for about five years. And so all our lives, we have been slaves in our own lands. All our life, we have been second-class citizens in our own homeland. And so the word mabuhay, when our ancestors and Filipino heroes, they were constantly in wars and they were constantly fighting for their lives. And whenever they go to the war, they say, Mabuhay. It means, I either kill you or you kill me. Mabuhay means, I want to live and I want to live long. And so this afternoon, I want to teach all of us how to say Mabuhay in the right way. Is that okay? You have no choice because I am the champion today. Can we all stand? Can we all stand? Mabuhay, Philippines! Mabuhay, Freeway International! Can we all give ourselves a round of applause today? So you see, it does not matter which country we're coming from. It does not matter the color of our skin. Because we all are here for one reason, and that is to become successful people. It does not matter what language we speak. You know, right now we hear the Japanese, we hear the Koreans, and we hear the Chinese, and it does not matter which language. Because we understand, because we all speak the same language. And that is the language of freeway, the language of success. Yeah. See, let me just tell you why I'm inside freeway. When I was young, um, my mother was not at home most of the time. She's a single mother. And so when I was in my fifth or sixth grade, I was left at home most of the time with my two younger brothers. And because we were so poor, I always had to find a way on how to feed my two younger brothers. So what I would do is that I would always bring them to our neighbors every single night and pretend that we would watch television. But the truth is we would go to our neighbors around 6 or 7 p.m. Why? Because it's dinner time. And I don't know with you, but in the Philippines, if you eat and you don't invite the people around you, that is considered rude. And so when I was young, every single night, we would jump from one house to another, one house to another, pretending to watch television. But really, I just want my brothers to not be hungry for that night. When I was in high school, you see, my mother was not at home a lot of times. She's a single mother, like I've said, and there was not enough money at all. So what I would do... So what I would do is that I made sure that I was the friendliest and the nicest person in class. I may not be the prettiest, not the smartest, but always I made friends with everybody inside the room. Why? So that when the time comes that the landlady would kick me out of the house, I have a lot of places to go to. And so I would jump from one house to another, one house to another. But you know, I really didn't mind because I'm used to it. But what really hurt me is that these classmates of mine, a lot of them, they own pets. Who among us here, you have pets? Pets, okay? And you know, these, my classmates, okay? The food that they feed their pets are way expensive than the food that I eat. 
the food that their dogs, cats, and hamsters eat, I was so jealous of them. Because my classmates, they only had to think of their pets. But me, at a very early age, I knew that I had to feed my entire family. And when I was in college, when I was in college, I would go home, I would go to the university always empty stomach and empty pocket. But you know, my mother had this kind of mentality that we do not care if your stomach is empty or we do not care if you have to walk for miles to reach school, I will put you in the best university. Because if you go to the best university, then maybe one day you can become a successful person. And so in college, every quarter, I don't know with the Chinese people, but in the Philippines, we have this what we call promissory note. And every quarter, I would be at the school falling in line for the promissory note. It means that I would beg my teachers to allow me to take classes, to allow me to take examinations, even though I couldn't pay yet. And so all my life, it was made clear to me that I was no daughter of any rich person. It was made clear to me that I was living in so much lack, in so much poverty. And so growing up, I only had one thing in mind, and that is to become a successful person. But you see, even owning a diploma from a school that is quite good in the Philippines, even that diploma did not allow me to have a good life. Because years after graduating from college, I was still jobless. I know I'm not a stupid person. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we are just meant to be inside Greenway International. Because this is the only place, Greenway is the only place that would look at us today and it will not matter where you're coming from or what have you have what you have done it will not matter whether you have the resources or the network it does not matter whether you you have achieved something or the in the past or not because what matters is you come inside this business you master the business you do it right and definitely you will become successful See, I look back, it was a very rough childhood. But you see, today I look back and I no longer look back in pain. I no longer look back in regrets. I no longer look back in self-pity. Because today I look back and I look back through the lenses of victory. Because inside me, we are becoming victorious and successful people. Can we all give ourselves a round of applause today to all the successful people in the house? But you see, here's the truth. Nobody really cares whether we had a bad childhood or not. Nobody really cares whether we have lost a parent at a very young age. Nobody really cares whether we are born into wealth or we are born into poverty. See, the world does not bother how many times we have tried and failed. The world does not bother today the dreams and aspirations that you have. The world does, does, does not bother. The world does not care about the challenges and the problems that you go through. Because if there is one thing that the world cares about, it's nothing else but your success. And like what Celeste Chang, our leader, would always say, if there's one thing that the world cares, it is your own legendary story. And so to all of the people inside this house, we are here. Can you please stop the person next to you? Nobody cares. Nobody cares. And that is why today we are gathered because there is only one goal. And that is to keep on winning and keep on succeeding and keep on winning because that is the only time that the world will know our names.
But to start earning money and to start to become successful, are these things really enough? Are these things enough to define a true winner? You see, the problem with success, the problem with winning, is that it gives us an illusion that success is already the finish line. The problem is that we, it's giving us an illusion that success is already the final destination. But success or winning or earning money, is it really enough to call somebody today a true winner inside B-Way International? See, I came across this book by Simon Sinek. This book is entitled, The Infinite Game. And it says on that book that in life, there are two kinds of games. First is the finite game, and the second one is the infinite game. Can you say finite? Finite. And the other one is infinite. <laughs> See, in finite games, okay, the players are known, the rules are fixed, and there is a very clear objective or goal that when reached, eventually ends the game. So a very clear example of this would be a basketball game. Because in a basketball game, you can clearly identify the players, right? Because they're wearing uniforms. And in a basketball game, okay, there is a referee. And whenever penalties are made by the players, okay, penalty, uh, I mean, Whenever rules are broken by the players, penalties are made. And whichever of these two competing teams earns the most scores, that team is called the winners. And then everybody goes home and the game ends. But on an infinite game, an infinite game is different. Because the games, the players rather, are both known and unknown. Which means to say that some players can come in at any time and other players can simply drop off in the game. There are no fixed rules. There may be conventional ways of doing things. But in general, the players get to decide how they play the game. Now, there is no clear objective or goal. And that is why basically there is no finish line and there is no end to the game. An example of this would be the Vietnam War. Are you guys familiar with the Vietnam War? See, the Vietnam War started in 1955. And the Vietnam War, the Americans thought, okay, that they were fighting a proxy war against Communist China and Communist Soviet Union. And so, they provided the democratic Southern Vietnam with funding and military tools and equipment. They provided them military training and they provided them military troops and soldiers because the Americans were so fearful that if communism took hold in Vietnam, it might create a domino effect in the rest of Southeast Asia and that democracy would soon collapse. So the war, I tell you, it lasted for about 20 years. By the end of the war, the Americans declared about 60,000 American soldier casualties. 60,000. North Vietnam, on the other hand, they declared over 1 million casualties, civilians not included. But how exactly did the, did the, did the war end? You see, the Vietnamese insisted that they were not puppets of Communist China or Communist Soviet Union. The Vietnamese insisted that they were not just fighting for the war, they were fighting for their independence. They were fighting against colonialism. They were fighting against imperialism. The Vietnamese people said that they were not only fighting to win the war, but they were fighting for their lives. And so the American soldiers, although they were superior in terms of military tools and trainings and equipments, they went home. They dropped off the game because they ran out of the will and the resources to continue fighting. And the Vietnamese people, I tell you, there was no amount of U.S. bombing. There was no amount of U.S. killing. There was no amount of U.S. pressure that could kill the spirits of the Vietnamese people. Today, Vietnam is a sovereign state. 
can we give our Vietnamese brothers a round of applause today? See, in life, in Leeway International, we cannot choose, it is not up to us, whether the game we are playing is a finite game or an infinite game. Because clearly, Reway International is an infinite game. And so if it is an infinite game, there is no end to it. We have to play or operate with an infinite mindset, isn't it? Which means to say that the goal is not only to earn money, the goal is not only to go up the stage every quarter for the recognition line, the goal is to become so successful, that kind of success that will go beyond our lifetimes. So, Reway is built on an infinite mindset. You look at the product today, Portier Placenta. Portier is created with an infinite mindset. Why? Because Reway created the product, a product that it would not only sell, but a product that people would actually want to come to buy. See, in the last 15, 16 years, Reway continued to invest so much money and effort on Portier Placenta. Today, Anybody who consumes Portier Placenta, they will not want to leave this product because they want to continue taking it for the rest of their lives. See, you look at the, um, you look at the plan today. And the plan of Freeway is built on an infinite mindset. Which means to say that it compensates and recognizes productivity and not complacency. Meaning to say today, a person can grow a team, a person can earn money, a person can go up the stage. But the moment you become complacent, the moment you become lenient, you can start you can start to lose everything that you have built. Because Reway is built on an infinite mindset, which means that the game lives on and you have to continually grow yourself and your entire team. Can we give Reway a round of applause for that? Productivity and not complacency. Today, we look at the platform of Reway International and Reway clearly is built on an infinite mindset. Which means to say that during the pandemic, see, a lot of businesses did massive layoffs. A lot of businesses did massive cost cutting. Which means to say that a lot of companies invested less on their products, invested less on their operations, and invested less on their people. But Reway International, in the midst of the pandemic, no massive layoffs, no massive cost cutting, and above all, Reway did not allow its people like you and me to die in the pandemic. See, Reway, in the last 15 years, has been so endurant and so resilient. Reway navigated through the pandemic, adapted to the changes, the changes that the pandemic was bringing in the entire world system and Reway overcame challenges. Reway did not give up on us and continued to invest on us to become successful people in the process. And what others saw as a fatal crisis, what others saw as an excuse to die, Reway saw as an opportunity to come out even stronger in the midst of the pandemic. And that is why after the pandemic, Reway, it did not get small, but it grew hundreds and hundreds of times over. That is Reway International. So definitely, there is money. Definitely, there is success inside Reway. Because everything about Reway is designed to help people achieve success in the business. Am I right? But not only it's designed to help people achieve success, because today, the whole world is being disrupted by this what we call artificial intelligence. But you see, we are not fearful about it. Because if there is one thing that artificial intelligence can never challenge, it is the role of the leaders. And that is what Reway International is all about. It's about creating a healthy and strong organization of leaders. And so Reway is not only built to help people achieve success, it is built to last and stand the test of times. We are in the right company. 
We are in the perfect company. Can we give Freeway a round of applause today? So you see, there is definitely success inside Reway. There is definitely money inside Reway. But the thing is that if we operate in an infinite game with a finite mindset, okay, what happens is that along the way, it would make us make decisions that will eventually, instead of serving our purpose, it will now sab sabotage our success in the process. Yes? So today, if a player, if a leader is playing with a finite mindset, meaning to say that the moment our leaders, okay, stop providing support which we think they owe to us, today the moment Reway stops giving promotion, a lot of people slow down and then they die because things are no longer convenient for them to earn money. Today, when the system insists that you grow your business and whatever you earn, you put it back in your business so it can grow. A lot of people, they refuse because a lot of people with money as the end, only end goal in mind, they only want to take and take and take and they don't want to give and give and give because they only want to earn money. But with an infinite mindset, see, if you play with an infinite mindset, no matter how things become inconvenient for us, no matter how things become so difficult for us, because we are playing with an infinite mindset, we understand that a business can never be only up and up and up. A business can go up and down and up and down, but we continue to persist. We continue to learn, to do, and to teach because what we want is success that is not only monthly or quarterly or yearly. We want is success that will last for such a very, very long time. See, when we come inside Greenway with money as the end, only end goal in mind, if we come inside Greenway and our only goal is to keep on winning and to be the best and to become number one, sometimes it drives a lot of people inside their excelling to do unethical actions to advance their own interest, a lot of times at the expense of other people, without them realizing that they are already jeopardizing their own morals and principles in the business. See, a lot of people, because they come inside Reway with money as the only end goal in mind, with winning and achieving success and being number one with the only end goal in mind. A lot of people inside are excelling for the love of money and fame and power and status. They would start to do things, do shortcuts. Do shortcuts and cheat people out of a good opportunity. All for the love of money. They start to grab lines, they start to steal people, and there's another one that I cannot mention anymore. And you see, these people, no matter how high they climb, we can never look at them with admiration. We can only look at them with complete disgust and distrust. Because today we understand that success is never worth sacrificing our integrity. Success is never worth sacrificing our morals and principles. Success is never worth sacrificing our family and the relationship with the people we have. Success is never worth sacrificing our spirituality. And that is why Reway International, with an infinite mindset, built this business on the foundation of the six core values. See this pin? We wear it close to our heart every single day. It's not to impress people. We don't wear it to become decorative. We wear it because Reway teaches us and reminds us that to become a true winner is not just about money, but it's to pursue success and excellence in all the six core values of life. See, 
Um, 2021, a year into the pandemic, because of how good Greenway International is, in the midst of the pandemic, I was able to buy a house and I was able to buy a Mercedes-Benz Maybach. And before the night, before the turnover of my house and my car, somebody called me out. His name is James Chong and he is the general manager of the Philippines. He called me up and said, Fit, so are you happy that finally you're owning a house? Are you happy that finally you're owning a car? And then I said, of course, James, because I have been homeless my entire life. I have been riding the jeepney my entire life. Of course, today I am happy. And then he asked, so are you going to post it on Facebook? And I said, of course, yes. Because why would you... Why would you want to become so successful and not show it to others? See, James, if I drive around my Mercedes-Benz Maybach, it does not matter how I look. I will become the most beautiful girl in the whole of the Philippines, James. And then he said, You know what, Faith? If people saw your house and your car, and the last time, they've always known you as somebody homeless. They've always known you as somebody so poor. And suddenly you post a house, suddenly you post a Maybach. They will not be happy about it. And so no matter how much I wanted to brag on Facebook so that the people who ridiculed me in the past can see how successful I am today, I did not post anything. Because you see, outside, in the field of multi-level marketing, a lot of companies would use expensive cars and massive mansions and their checks to lure people to come inside their businesses to do business. But inside Greenway International, we do not do that. Because here, to become a true winner is not to be defined by external validation. We don't care about outside. Because what matters is inside and we show each other what Reway can do to transform us. See, some people may still be doubting why is a Filipino up there on stage. I hope that instead of doubting, you will start to grow your faith even deeper inside Reway International. Because you see, for such a long time, Philippines did not have not even the slightest chance of getting up the stage. But the boss said, there will always be an opportunity inside Reway. And even when there is none, I will make sure to create one. And I hope you find strength in this. Can we all give ourselves a round of applause today? And so to become a true winner is to succeed not only in terms of earning money, okay, but in the, all the six core values of our lives. The first core value is our finances. See, money is not everything, but it is a very important thing. Because money pays the bills, money secures our basic needs, and beyond that, money funds our goals in life. Money funds the things that we deeply care about, like family, health, education, experiences. And much later in life, money can fund our retirement. So money, in the lives of most people, falls into three major categories. First is the salary. Salary is basically you put in the work and you get a paycheck. Now the CEO of Coca-Cola, whose name is James Quincy, is said to be, if not the highest, one of the highest paid in salary. So annually, he makes about 20 to 25 million US dollars. And so the position as a CEO comes not only with a very high authority, it comes with a very high salary as well, but it also comes with a very high price. Because to become a CEO, that role, what? Demands very strong leadership skills. Not only to lead and manage the overall work of the company, but perhaps the most crucial of all, to make sure that the company remains profitable. Now, there is a group of people who may not be doing the crucial job of the CEO, but they are said to be 
making far, far, far greater money than CEOs do. And we call them the shareholders. Warren Buffett, the shareholder okay, of Coca-Cola, in 2022 alone, made about $700 million in dividends from his investment in Coca-Cola. But the thing is, is it always like this? See, the thing with investments is that it easily fluctuates, which means to say that it can easily go down as it go up, goes up. The capital that you put, okay, it's always at the risk. And so there is never a guarantee that you can get your money back. And so investments, just like salaries, come with a very high price. And this time, the price for investment is the price of taking such high risks. Now, you and I, we come inside WeWe International not to earn 20 to 25 million dollar salary. We come inside WeWe not to earn in dividends from investments, but we come inside WeWe to earn in the most extreme manner, and that is what we call the passive income. Okay? So you see, Reway is a place created so that people like you and I can achieve the greatest things in life that only direct selling can truly offer. And talking about achieving the greatest things in life, we don't have to look any farther because right in front of us are the topmost leaders of Reway International. Can we all give our topmost leaders a round of applause today? These people, ha, the people seated in front, and please do not count my seat yet, not yet. I don't belong yet. The people seated in front, I tell you, are probably the wealthiest people that we will ever know in our entire lifetime. Today, they can easily buy Rolls Royce. Today, they, easily, they can easily own mansions. And above all, they are the wealthiest because even if you lock them up inside a room for three months, for six months, for 12 months, by the time that they come out, they will be even richer than the day they actually you actually lock them up. Can we give them a round of applause today? Passive income means that there is no other opportunity outside that exceeds Reway's ability and willingness not only to compensate us, but to value us as well. That is Reway International. For me, we need to earn money so we can take care of the more important things in life, such as health. See, if I add up all the hours of top leaders meeting and leadership training seminars that I have sat down and wear headset, if you add up all the total hours, it's probably going to be years. And so today, if I talk here for two to three hours, that shouldn't hurt, right? <laughs> Can we all give ourselves a round of applause today? So when I was young, my father, huh? my father is my image of a hero. He was tall, dark, and handsome, and he was a policeman. And my father was such a very good man. But what I like about him is that he would proudly tell others that he, that I am his favorite daughter. So you see, my father was a very good man. But he loved billiards. Okay? So every time he would go to the city to play billiards, to gamble, he would always bring me because he would say, Faith, you are my lucky charm. And true enough, Every time he would bring me to gamble, he always wins. And when he wins, he would buy me one whole durian. And I would eat the durian all to myself. And after, every time we go to the city, we would go to the shop. The shop is called Ducati. And outside in the shop, my father would lean on the glass and do like this. And then he would say, one day soon, Faith, we will become so successful that I will ride a Ducati. You see, I love my father so dearly. And he loved us. He loved us, his children. 
the problem is he also loves a lot of women outside. But don't mind because he's a very good man. And so today, I am becoming successful in the business. Not as successful as all these people, but becoming successful. And if I have one regret, is that my father is no longer alive today. A year before we met for Tier Placenta, he died of the completed complications of diabetes. And today I learned that maybe if we give the same amount of importance to our health, the same amount of importance that we give to material wealth and possessions, maybe, maybe my father would still be here, maybe my father would be on the crowd, and maybe my father would be the proudest father right now. But health, awkward, but health, health is not just about the ability to walk or to sleep or to eat or to function properly. Because you see, to achieve the six core values in life is to achieve success in the most extreme manner. Now there is an actor by the name of Tom Cruise and today he's 60 year old. And recently he just finished um, taping for his new movie, Mission Impossible, um, number seven, okay? part seven. And in this movie, what's amazing is that he never used a stunt man or a double. So in this movie, okay, he had to do a stunt. And that stunt is to ride a motorbike. And while riding a motorbike, he would have to jump off a cliff and then use a parachute to land Safely. And he did not use a double or a stuntman. He did it by himself and he did it not only once or twice, he did it six times in one day. He did it six times because he wanted perfection. But not only that, before he was able to successfully perform this stunt, he studied to become a professional skydiver for one year. And in that year, in that period of time, okay, he did skydiving by himself, okay, for over 500 times. What is scary today is that recently our, I heard that our boss, Mr. Limbunho, <laughs> wants also to exceed his limitations. Today, the boss is learning, preparing to be a professional skydiver. Can we all give us a round of applause today? You know, when I heard this, huh, I got so ashamed of myself because I cannot even ride a roller coaster because I'm so afraid that I might get heart attack. But the boss, the boss always puts so much high expectations for himself. Once again, our boss, Mr. Lim Bunhong. So the health, it's not simply the ability to walk, eat, or sleep, but rather, this is our goal. You see, every time we graduate from college, for example, after 10 years, we do reunion and meet up okay, with our previous colleagues or classmates. Now, they say that every after 10 years, you meet each other and you what? You compete to see who's making more money. After 20 years, you see each other again to compete who has the higher social status in life. And then after 10 years, you meet again, no longer to see who's the richer one, okay? But to check who is the healthiest one. Now, this is the goal inside Reway. The goal is to have a reunion with our colleagues and friends. And the goal is always to look the youngest and the healthiest in the group. Another photo, they are all of the same age. But probably the one in the middle, that is how you will look like, we will look like, okay, inside Reway International. And the third one, this is the health goal, the extreme manner inside Reway International. These are all of the same age. And you can see who's the youngest and healthiest. Whoa. This is Reway International. Can we give Reway a round of applause today? <laughs> Next is family. Family, um, I think it was two years ago, I received another call. But from the same person, the general manager of the Philippines, James Chong. 
And James called me. Why? Because I just posted on Facebook. Finally, I am annulled. Please don't judge me, okay? Because you know, the kind of wisdom that I have today, I did not have it back when I was just 18 years old. And so today that I have money, I can afford annulment. Because all the single women in the house, we want freedom, right? And so James called me faith. So you just got annulled? Yes, James, I'm single now. So you posted it on Facebook? Of course, James, to let everybody know that I am single, but not ready to mingle. <laughs> and um, James said, okay, I understand you're happy. You have been, you've come out of the shell. But the thing is, posting on Facebook, celebrating about separation, does that, does that teach people the value of relationship and the value of family today? And I did not have to answer. I just put down the call and deleted my post on Facebook. Today, Reway, Reway gives so much value and importance on family. See, the day, last May 1st, last May 1st, when I competed in Thailand, I was so nervous. Because I never had the experience or the chance to get up on stage. And I was so nervous, I called up my daughter. I have a family, I have two kids. I have a 12-year-old daughter by the name of Alec, and I have an 11-year-old son by the name of A. And I called them and I said, I'm so scared right now, guys. And then they told me, Mommy, just give your best. Whether you win or not, we will always be proud of you. Because every time we see you up on stage, we, can, we are amazed with how talented and good you are at what you are doing. And we are so proud of you, Mom. <laughs> and so today in Reway, we understand that before we can command respect, before we can command influence outside, it has to start with the fundamental and that is our own families. Today, the bosses that no matter how much a man makes outside, no matter how successful he becomes outside, if he comes home to his family and he is not well loved, respected, and valued, then he can never be called a successful person. And so family is our pillar of support inside Way International. The next is our social values. Okay? Social values, you see, um, Abraham Lincoln once said, Give me six years to chop down a tree, and I would spend the first four years, okay, sharpening the axe. Or rather, give me six years, six hours to chop down a tree, and I would spend the first four hours sharpening the axe. So the axe now is our tool, and chopping down the tree is what? Is our pursuit of success. See, a lot of people, okay, we understand that we need to invest in tools in order to achieve success. But tools, it's not just about talents and skills. Tools, it's not just about resources. Tools, it's not just about the network. But tools has a lot to do with environment. If you want to become successful today, they say that you have to look at the people you spend the most time with. Jim Rohn said that we are the average of the five people we spend time most with. And science backs this up, telling us people we habitually associate ourselves with, they contribute up to 95% of our success or failure in life. Which means to say that today, the people you're with, what have they got you thinking? What have they got you saying? What have they got you feeling? And what have they got you doing? Because who you are, who your environment is, that is who you become. Thing is that a lot of times, our dreams in life may be bigger than the environment that we find ourselves in. And so a lot of times, we have to get out of this environment in order to achieve success. Why? Because whether we like it or not, whether we admit it or not, some people in our lives, they hold us back from becoming successful. Some people in our lives, 
they push us towards becoming successful. And so if this is the case, we have to actively construct our social environment. And there is no better environment than the environment of Freeway International. Today, see, I have been fighting to get inside the top leaders' meetings. And I tell you, inside the top leaders' meeting, we would sit down from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. And all the PowerPoint presentations, everything is in Chinese. And the only time that I would hear the word English is when boss would say, okay, 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 okay. And every time I go to TLM, I tell you, I do not understand anything. But this is what I've learned. That just by merely exposing yourself to the most successful people, it can actually accelerate your growth in the business. So today, I do not under understand them. I don't talk to them much. But I'm very grateful that a lot of topmost leaders today are taking care of me every time there's a top leaders meeting. I have built friendships inside like Tan Sutyam, Dayan Jemaang, and William, Victor Tan, who else? I'm sorry if I forgot, my gosh, Andy So and Penny Lee. You know, these people may be the wealthiest people, but I tell you, they are the humblest people that I have met in my entire life. Can we all give our topmost leaders a round of applause today? Tanya Lee, of course, and Mr. Lo. See, this is what I have discovered. That when you spend time, or not even spend time, when you always try to catch and imitate the people who are already the kind of success that you want to become, you will not even notice that you are also becoming successful in the process. And in the last six years of my life, there's nothing else that I have desired but to keep on fighting P1, P3, P5, P6, P7 to become close to our boss, Mr. Lim Bon Hong. And today, I cannot say that we are close because up until today, he has not made me a cocktail yet. But I tell you, ah, those six years, I know that I have become successful just by merely following and imitating the boss. That's our boss, Mr. Lim Bon Hong. And so the goal is to qualify yourself inside the topmost people because here, the conversation is different. The thinking is different. So, you need to qualify, which means that you don't need to add them on Facebook. You see, a lot of people, they keep on adding a lot of topmost leaders on Facebook thinking that if they become friends on Facebook, they too will become successful. No, that's not how you do it. You qualify inside the environment, which means that you have to exhaust to put in your sweat, blood, and tears in order to become successful and be part of this circle. Be part of an environment that will help you realize success. Not only that, once you become part of that environment, the goal is to emulate this kind of environment to your own people. Which means to say that you become the environment of strength. You become the environment of success. So that when you go home, you go to your friends, you go to the community, everywhere you go, people will look up to you and respect you and value you because you are an environment of strength. Can we give our Riway leaders a round of applause today? Next is the mental and to do it the most extreme way. C first is our learning ability. Thing is that we understand that being part of freeway is not a lottery ticket, right? It's not like you come inside and then you become successful. Because we understand that it is a process. And when we talk about the process, the process does not only involve operations. Which means to say that learning ability is not just about how good we present OPP, how good we talk on stage, or how good we do events. But learning ability is that our success can only grow up to the point that we are growing. It's not only about presentations and events and talents and skills. It's our ability to stretch ourselves to the limit. It's our ability and willingness to learn every single time. 
Because our business can only grow up to the point that we are growing our minds and our hearts. But then again, when we start to master the system, again, success has this you know, bad habit of giving us the illusion that we have already become successful. Because not only that we need to have the ability, but we need to keep a learning attitude. Which means to say that learning can come in many forms. It could come in the form of leadership training seminars such as this. But learning can also come in the form of mistakes and failures. Mistakes can Success can also come, learning can also come in the form of bad, negative events. And so to keep a learning attitude is to convert any event, any circumstances, whether good or bad, whether positive or negative, whether it's a success or failure, to use all of these things to help us achieve success in the process. And then, again, we emulate this kind of attitude towards our own organization so that we will never run out of strength. And that is how it is to achieve mental goals inside Reway Business. And lastly, is the spiritual goals. Ah, you see, just now, since yesterday, we have been talking so much about how it is to earn money, how it is to become successful. Isn't it? But money, no matter how much you earn, money still has its own limitations. Because money can make us afford all the fancy things in life, but not necessarily the heart of appreciation. Am I making sense? Money can make us afford the time to, to develop our skills and talents and gifts but not necessarily the discipline to do so. You see, money can help us buy power so that we can create a difference in the lives of other people, but money cannot buy us the desire to help other people. See, money can help us buy a lot of things, but not the heart. See, money is not the problem. Because money, money does not make people evil. They say that money only magnifies and amplifies what is already inside the heart. Which means to say that today when a greedy person earns money, that greedy person will become greedy. Today when a person earns money and he has always been generous, today that generous person will become even more generous. And so today, our spiritual goals, it's not about the money that we make. It's about who we, we become in the process of earning money. And this is what the boss says. That only those with the purest hearts can stand the test of time. And so all of these things, finances, health, social, mental, family, and spiritual. All of these things. Okay, to be morally upright, all of this will lead us into achieving freedom. Can you please tell the person next to you right now, freedom! Freedom! See, what is freedom, man? Just like how countries would wage, wage wars in order to achieve peace, freedom cannot be handed to us. See, what is freedom? I cannot exactly define what freedom is. But all my life, I have always been at the mercy of other people. When I was in grade school, I was at the mercy of my neighbors. When I was in high school, I was at the mercy of my classmates. When I was in college, I was at the mercy of my school. All my life, I have lived at the mercy of others. But today, to become a real person and to pursue excellence in all the six core values is to achieve freedom, which means to say, that to achieve a position where you are no longer at the mercy of other people. Because today, the truth is, if you are a wife and you are not making money, then you are always at the mercy of your husband. Today, if you are a young person and you are not making money, then you will always be at the mercy of your parents. Today, if you are a sickly person and you don't do anything about it, 
then you will always be at the mercy of your illness, of your disease. Today, if you are an employee and your boss does not like you, then you will always be at the mercy of your boss. Today, if you are so afraid of achieving your dreams because of your fears and doubts, then you will always be at the mercy of your fears and doubts. Today, if you are a successful person, but in the process of becoming successful, you jeopardize your integrity and your relationships, then you are always at the mercy of greed. But freedom today is to be in a position where you are no longer at the mercy of other people. It's to take back control of your life. It's to create your destiny. And this is what Reway International can give us. But it does not come for free because we have to pay the price. We have to pay the price, which means that we have to put in the efforts beyond measure. We have to put in the sacrifices beyond measure. We have to do trade-offs beyond measure. And we have to turn obstacles into our own advantages beyond measure. Freedom is not for free because it comes with a price. Price first is self-reflect. See, self-reflect, okay? Lao Tzu once said that knowing others is intelligence. Knowing oneself is true wisdom. Mastering others is strength. But mastering your own self is true power. The idea, okay, is to change our lives for the better. The idea is to take control of our lives. Now, a lot of us, we have this what we call standards. Can you please tell the person next to you? Standards. Standards, our life is a reflection of our standards. Which means to say that our life is a reflection of our thoughts, our beliefs, our mindset, our attitude, our faith, our doubts, our fears. So today, you look at your standards. The way that you look today is your standards. Can you please look at the person seated next to you? The way that person appears, that is his standards. Do you like the standards of the person you're seated next to? Maybe allow him more time to take for your placenta. <laughs> Today, the car that you drive is a reflection of your standards. Today, your husband and your wife is your standards. So a lot of us, very poor standards, but cannot change anymore, right? Cannot because family values. So the idea is to change our life for the better. And so when we refuse to confront our realities, when we confront, when we refuse to confront ourselves, when we fail to determine our needs and wants, our desires, our strengths and weaknesses, if we refuse to look at ourselves in the mirror, then we are already missing out on the most important part in designing and building the life which we think we deserve. So, self-reflect, how did I come inside Reway International? You see, when my mother bought Portier Placenta, she was suffering from stage 4 colon cancer. And so without me knowing, she used my name. Three months into the business, and that name hit Diamond One Star. And all that time, the whole time, I did not go with her because I told her we have already been doing network marketing for how many years you are just being scammed and those people reway people they are just professional scammers because they are all wearing black coat and so I refused to do reway I was the first person to refuse my mother but when my name hit diamond one star she was so happy because finally, after 60 years, she will be able to fly to Taipei, Taiwan. And then suddenly, the happiness disappeared because it's my name and not hers. So in March of 2017, I flew to Taipei, Taiwan. And I attended my first ever Leaders Recognition Night as a Diamond One Star. What happened in Taipei, Taiwan was that our upline, Raymond Tong, from Malaysia. Can we all give Raymond Tong a round of applause today? Raymond Tong, he put us in a very nice room. 
the bathroom, I tell you, ah, it's, it looks so expensive. It's like you're staying in a spa. But the problem was that the bed, there was only one bed. And there were three of us sharing that bed on that night. So the two colleagues, they told me, Faith, because you are still young and maybe your back still strong, maybe you can sleep on the floor. And I got so hurt. I got so mad, not with the person. I got so mad. Because the only time that people will ask you to sleep on the floor is if you are a person with no value at all. In Taipei, Taiwan, in March of 2017, the following day, a colleague of mine talked to me. And then she said, Faith, what is your plan? Because my plan is to hit Diamond 3 Star by the end of the month. And then again, strike two, I got so hurt. Because when she asked me what was my plan, I got so hurt because I realized I had no plans. And then here comes strike three. Because there's another colleague who told me on that day, Faith, you know what? Your mother, Elizabeth, is going to have a hard time doing the way because very old and very sickly. Today, Elizabeth is our Team Supreme Pegasus 3. <laughs> Faith, you're going to have a hard time succeeding inside Riway because you're too young and you're too empty. And I got so hurt and I got so hurt. But you know, like what Fang Yien of Taiwan would always say, we cannot underestimate the power of faith because it can summon our innermost strength. And on that night, I decided to change. I decided I wanted to become successful. I wanted to transform my life. I wanted to become a better person. And so that night, because I was so hurt, I was so hurt. Raymond, 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 what is higher than Diamond 3 Star? Because all of them, they're fighting for Diamond 3 Star. I want higher than them. Oh, Faith, what's higher is Team Elite Pavo. Okay, whatever that is, I will fight to become the first full-blooded Team Elite Pavo in the Philippines. No, no, not yet, not yet. Because that night, instead of flying back to the Philippines, I flew to Thailand. Because I realized I did not know the business at all. I realized I did not know how to hit Team Elite Pavo. And so I spent the night in Thailand, but I couldn't sleep, I couldn't eat. Because that night I realized that if I continue to do nothing, then I will forever remain in the same place. That if I continue to do nothing, then I will be forever empty, I will be forever broken, and I will be forever broke, and I will be forever a person of no value and no significance. And so on that night, I flew back. And I did the most sensible thing. I did not know how to do reway, but I put my trust inside this reway because it was only reway that offered me a chance to become somebody new. And on that month, on my first month in the business, I hit Team Elite Pabo. And on that same year, I hit Team Elite Pegasus, the first full-blooded Filipino in the Philippines. Pwede bang palakpakan natin ang team kayo manggit? See, self-reflect is that strong dissatisfaction with yourself. You feel so disgusted and you feel so dissatisfied with yourself. And then you feel that strong desire to become a better person. That strong desire to become somebody new. And that is how I came inside Leeway International. Now, it's not enough to know it's not enough to self-reflect because the next most important thing is to do. Can you please tell the person next to you? Execute. Execute. It comes in the form of self-discipline. Now, self-discipline, how many of us here, we can boldly say that we are disciplined people? Can I see in the hands of those who will say that they are disciplined people? Whoa! Andy So, can we all give Andy So a round of applause today? Boss, I'm so sorry, the rest of the topmost leaders are undisciplined leaders. <laughs> I was joking. See, discipline is a very 
easy to understand word, but very hard to do. Early this year, I had one of my molars removed. I had one of my one of my teeth removed. And after the dentist removed my molar, he told me, Faith, after I remove your molar, you go back home and then you sleep and you rest. And tomorrow and in the next few days, you cannot go flying around because you might develop an infection. And then I told the dentist, huh? the dentist had very simple instructions. You go home and then you rest and do not fly around. But see, so easy to understand but so hard to do. Because after the dentist removed my molar, I go and shopping at her mess. And after shopping, the following day, I flew to Cebu to group the team. And after that, I flew to another town to group another team. And after that, I flew again to another town to group a team. And then, I developed infection. And then, I was still grouping the team and somebody told me, you know what, Faith? The infection, if you don't treat it, it will go up to your brain and then you will die. And then when I heard that, I got so scared because I thought about all the meanwhile events that I was supposed to do. I did not want to die. And so I had to start taking care of myself. See, compliance, compliance is very hard. It's a very hard thing to do. It's so hard to, what, to, to follow what other people impose on us. Because unless we are confronted with a very grave pain or punishment, then we will not comply. And so that self-discipline is not only about self-compliance, but it's about accountability. Can you please tell the person next to you, accountability? Which means today that today we understand that to become successful inside we way, we can never expect anyone to hold our hands. We can never expect our leaders to create results for us. Accountability is you set a goal on yourself and you do everything to achieve that goal. That is accountability. Accountability is what? They say that champions are never made champions inside the ring. They are merely recognized inside the boxing ring. But how do they become champion? Is all the habits that they put in on a daily basis. Which means to say that discipline or accountability today, you don't go to the gym for 24 hours and expect to have abs the following day. Today, if we want to be in shape, we go to the gym every single day and spend about 20 to 30 minutes every day and then we become better. And so accountability or discipline is about consistency. Consistency over intensity. Can you please tell the person next to you? Consistency over intensity. Meaning to say, it does not matter how intense you are right now. Because what matters are the people who master the system every single day with or without results. Every single day, even when nobody is watching. Accountability today is making sure promising yourself and not others that you will become successful can we see the hands of the people who are accountable over their own success today Pwede bang palakpakan natin yan? but you see i learned so much inside reway international and i learned that self-discipline is not just about accountability but it also has a lot to do with delayed gratification Delayed gratification, see the boss on the sixth or seventh year in the business. In the sixth or seventh year in the business, and he owned Greenway International. Still, he did not own a house. And so when our senior vice president told her, told him rather, that now boss, you have enough money to buy a house, what the boss did is instead of buying a house, he bought the baby Pegasus. And this Pegasus, the boat, okay, all, all of the Team Elite Pegasus shared that boat. Which means to say that boss, instead of securing himself, he first bought something that other people can borrow strength from. And because he sacrificed his own needs, today more and more people trust him and cooperate with him because he puts the needs of others above his own self. That is delayed gratification.
That is our boss, Mr. Lin Bun Hong. Delayed gratification means you lose a little so that you can earn even bigger in the future. Delayed gratification means resisting temptation of temporary and fleeting happiness in order to achieve long-term fulfillment and long-term success. Once again, our boss, Mr. Lin Bun Hong. Self-reflect and self-discipline and then self-love. See, a lot of people confuse self-love with self-indulgence. We think that self-love is accumulating all the things which we think would make us happier. But actually, self-love is not about becoming happy. See, when a person keeps on eating dessert because he wants to be happy and he wants to live his life, if you keep on eating dessert, you will develop diabetes and then you die. So self-love is not about pursuing happiness. Self-love is not self-indulgence, but rather self-love is self-fulfillment. One time, the boss came across this comic book, and the comic book says, if you compete with yourself, and then you lose, then who wins? Again, if you keep on competing with yourself, and then you lose, then who wins? See, self-love is self-fulfillment, which means that we owe it to ourselves to become successful today. We owe it to our families to become successful today. We do everything with all our might to become successful today. But winning is a habit and so is losing. And so if we do not have self-love today, if we always choose to abandon our dreams and aspirations, see, if we always lose, defeat becomes normal to us. But today, if we train our minds and our hearts, to always be excellent in all our ways, then we will become the most successful. There's nobody that we can compete against, but our greatest enemy is our own selves. And that is self-love. We owe it to ourselves to become successful. See, in 2017, we could not afford a bottle of Portier Placenta. We told Raymond Tong at the time, Raymond, here's a check for the two bottles of Portier Placenta. But that check, Raymond, you cannot deposit because confirmed it will bounce because it's a closed checking account. We just give you a check so that you have something against us. Six years ago, Riway, six years ago, my mother and I, we could not afford a bottle of Portier Placenta. But we could afford to start dreaming again inside Reway International. And so today, today my mother and I, we are living a very luxurious life. But when I say luxurious, I'm not talking about expensive hotels or business class or expensive jewelry or the most luxurious things in life. When I talk about luxury, it's about freedom. Today, we have the power to confront our realities and that is self-reflect. Today, we can set goals for ourselves and discipline ourselves that is called self-discipline. And today, we are living a life of freedom, which means that a true winner in the process of achieving success, along the way, if our dreams get broken, a true winner will never give up and will make sure to pick up the pieces of those broken dreams and start to dream again, and that is self-love. And all of these things will make you and I a true winner inside Reway International. See, a true winner, to become a true winner, is to become so successful, so successful, that conventional trophies like fame, money, and status will not appeal to you anymore. Because to become a true winner is to pursue value, meaning, purpose, and significance. Because these are the very things that cannot be taken away from us. To become a true winner is to live a life of fulfillment and not to live a life of regrets. It's to know in yourself that you have 
live your life according to the best of your abilities. Today, to become a true winner inside Greenway International is not only to create so much wealth to leave inheritance for others, but it's to create long-lasting impact and that is called legacy in the life of other people. Today, to become a true winner is to become like my hero inside Greenway. And that is our boss, the true winner, Mr. Lim Bun Hong. So that's my hint. I need to finish now. And before I end my sharing, I want to end my sharing with, with a story. And again, you have no choice because I am the champion today. <laughs> so the story is the story of the sculptor. A long, long time ago, there was a sculptor who wanted to create an image of God. And um, this sculptor, uh, he went up to the mountains and looked for the best stone possible. He saw a stone and it was good enough. Now, on his way home, he came across again another stone. But this time, this stone is shinier. This stone is more beautiful. And this stone is more promising. And so we went home and started to sculpt the image of God. But first, he used the stone, which was more beautiful. And when the sculptor stopped pounding, when the sculptor started to sculpt the image of God, the beautiful stone, it was crying in so much pain and agony. Please stop, please stop. Are you sure? But I'm going to turn you into a beautiful image of God. No, I cannot do this anymore. It's so painful. It's so painful. And so the sculptor had no choice but to drop the beautiful stone in the dirt. Now he took up the stone, which was uglier. And then the sculptor started pounding, started sculpting, and started turning this ugly stone into a beautiful image of God. And the sculptor was looking at the ugly stone. And in the eyes of the ugly stone, he can tell that the ugly stone was in so much pain and in so much agony. And then the sculptor said, are you sure you want me to go on? And the ugly stone said, yes, I will do everything to become an image of God. I will bear all the pain and all the agony because I want to become a beautiful image of God. And so today, that ugly stone turned into a beautiful image of God and placed somewhere in China. And today, millions and millions of people would travel to that place in order to worship the beautiful image of God. And the beautiful stone which was left in the dirt in the pavement would always look up to the ugly stone and tell the ugly stone, you do not deserve to be there. I deserve to be there because I am more beautiful. But the ugly stone could not hear anything anymore because he was being worshipped by millions and millions of people. And today, today Reway International is just like that sculptor. Today, Reway International is turning us into people that others would want to imitate, that others would want to follow. Because you see, in the process of achieving success, if the person we become is not worth becoming, then it cannot be called a success at all. Today, my name is Faith, and I tell you why I'm here. The last time, I had a very clear motive when I entered Reway International. My motive was to help sustain the consumption of my dying mother. My motive was not to be hungry. My motive was to earn money so that my children will not be hungry. But today, my motivation is a lot, lot different because today, the reason for my being, the reason that the fuel that drives me to get up every day, to fight every day, to conquer all challenges and problems. My motivation is my team that I belong to, Team Kayumang King! See, I will tell you why I am here inside Miwe. For such a long, long time, Filipinos have succeeded at becoming domestic helpers. Filipinos have succeeded at becoming nurses. And there's nothing wrong about that. Because Philippines, we offer the world our best, and that is the Filipino people. Today, a lot of homes in the entire world will collapse 
without a Filipino. A lot of economies in the world would collapse without a Filipino worker. Today, a lot of clinics and hospitals will collapse without Filipino nurses. But today, inside me, wait, my goal is not simply to earn money. My goal is not simply to win the war. My goal is that more and more Filipinos will come across Riway and we will travel the world and we will conquer the world no longer as second-class citizens, but as world-class business leaders. Today, Filipinos, this is only the beginning because the doors of victory are being open wide for each and every single Filipino. And I hope that for everybody in the house, I hope that you will find fulfillment, that you will too become a true winner inside WeWay International. And remember, we are not here to only win few battles. We are not here to only win the war. We are here because we are fighting for our lives. Mabuhay, WeWay International! See you at the top, Philippines! Thank Kazabit 每个人都有这样足够的知识和能力完成四强的有那么这三十六位讲师呢真心的那么如果只有唯一一个人可以谈
，而且就是如此。不过你们不用担心，为什么不用担心？因为今天这个系统课程的完结并不是完结，而恰恰相反，它是一个真正的开始。这个、系统课程，这十二个从。培养良好的学习态度，到神奇运维公司，到如何开始，一直到最后的成为真正的赢家，这一整套，它是必须要复制的，它是必须要时常拿来讲的。你不是拿来听的，你是来学怎么讲的。今天这个系统课程才刚刚发芽。如果我们重复的、一直不断的、一直给自己这样的机会的谈，有一天他才会成为那个参天大树。今天只不过是一个框架，让我们知道说，我要把我自己本身的人生经历，把我自己本身的经验，放进这些点里面，放进这些主题里面，让自己本身有这样的一套，至少有一套这样的直销学的课程，你有办法谈的。今天要在因为成功，不单单只是直销学你需要谈，可能领导学的课程你要谈，成功学的课程你要谈，心理学的课程你要谈，所以至少你有一套这样的轮廓可以跟从的，至少有一技在身，是不是啊？要不然不然不然整天说哦这个不会那个不会，都要给自己本身一个机会。所以今天培训会呢也到了一个段落了。我非常感恩这两天你们陪我在这里度过这两天的时间。那么最终最后呢，我要邀请所有四十八位讲师上台来拍一张合体照。
没有高度的。我们动作快一点，来，动作快一点，看到人了吗？这边。给这十二位最杰出的讲师一个掌声。那么今天的培训会也到此为止，感谢你们两天的时间，我们在高峰见，谢谢大家 ，Thank you very much。感谢各位，今天的 r e v i e 系统课程已经结束，敬请各位来宾将翻译器归还至大堂，感谢您的合作。